If you're looking for cheap, safe, and reliable MT, make sure you go check out my new sponsor, SafeMBAMT.com. Use code JC2K for 5% off and go build that God Squad you always wanted. Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to the JC2K video. And today I'm going to be doing episode 15 of I Build Your Teams, the series where I build teams submitted to me by my viewers into the best teams possible for competitive gameplay or, and or uh, my team unlimited. So if you want to be involved in a future episode of this video, make sure you follow me on Twitter. My link is always down in the description below and be on the lookout for a tweet about this series on typically Friday nights because I typically record Saturday mornings for this series. Um, and just be able to look out for a tweet about this series so you can respond with your team there and how much MT you have, as well as what gen of the game you play on. Also, if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button, pushing towards the 2,000 subscriber mark slowly but surely on the channel. I really appreciate all the recent support on the videos. Without further ado, let's hop right into it and take a look at some of these teams. So, first team of the day, we have uh, Ant-Man. He has, has 600k MT on current gen. And looking at this team, it's kind of, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this team because it's kind of all over the place, but you have a lot of MT and you have some really good cards and you have some cards who I think are kind of outdated and I probably wouldn't personally use. Um, so for me personally, I would probably sell at least one of Draymond and Grant Hill, potentially even both, because I think if you bought Wes Unselt and Josh Smith, you're saving a lot of MT by buying those two guys. And I think they're honestly better than Draymond and Grant, at least better than Grant at this point. I would definitely sell Grant and then pick up Wes Unselt or Josh Smith to play that point guard position. Then you could either bring Draymond off the bench or bring the other one of Unselt and Smith off the bench. Also at the two, um, I would probably at some point look to potentially pick up um, Bill Russell if you haven't. Uh, he's a really, really late option. He'll give you Jimmy Butler as well. You could play at the two. You could move TJ Warren and Paul George to the two even. Um, and then at the, because I think Michael Jordan and Jalen Brown should both be out of the lineup at some point. I think they're both kind of not a little bit outdated. They're just a little bit small as well. Not great at that shooting guard position at this point. Uh, and then at the small forward, I would look to p pick, probably pick up Anton Jamison and Pascal Siakam and play those two guys at small forward. Uh, Siakam's pretty cheap. Jamison himself also isn't super expensive. So picking up those two guys would definitely help you out. Um, and I think then. Larry Johnson, again, probably a little bit outdated. I would sell Blake Griffin for sure. Isaac is fine. I would leave him and Wiseman there as your backup backcourt. I think that's cool. And then you still have plenty of MT. You could pick up a guy like Chris Porzingis and a guy like, I mean, I would recommend grinding out Bill Russell, but in the meantime, you could get a juiced bull bull. And I think if you do that, you're looking at a much better squad uh, with guys like Wes Unsell, Josh Smith, TJ, Paul George, Siakam, Anton Jameson, Bull Bull, Jonathan Isaac, KP, and Wisen, for example, if you were to build a team, something like that. Next team today comes in from Brad. I accidentally clicked off. He has 100Ks on current, and he's grinding for Thon Maker. Um, looking at this team, I don't think Thon Maker is the upgrade, honestly. He's more expensive than he's honestly worth at this point in the game, in my personal opinion. Um, and I think at some point you should try to... It, it definitely is helpful to have a 10-man rotation. Um... I'm glad it's good to see you have Bill Russell and Ben Simmons because I do think Simmons is still the best point guard in the game. And then you have Van Arsdale off the bench. You can play that backup too. Um, with 100K, I would probably look to pick up at least a backup point guard and a backup big man of some sort. Um, like potentially in the it, just temporarily anyway. Pink Diamond Anthony Davis can give you some good minutes off the bench at that center position. Um, so I'd look to pick him up. And then I would look to probably pick up a guy like Wes Unseld probably as well to play that backup point guard position. And then at that point, I do think you can pretty much, for the most part, use these guys as cones and play them for most of the game. But I definitely do think you need a backup point guard and a backup big. Um, and then after that, maybe we look at potentially pick, looking for a guy like Pascal Siakam because you'd probably have close to enough MT to get him still. Um, I think if you made those three upgrades with around the amount of MT you have, you'll look at a, be looking at a really, really good squad with what Simmons, Jimmy, James Worthy, Russell, Bull Bull, say Josh Smith or, or Unselled, Dick Van Arsdale, Siakam, some reward power forward and Anthony Davis or some reward small forward and Siakam with the four, something like that. I'm sure you could figure it out and get yourself a very, very solid looking squad. Next team today comes in from Warrior FC. He's got about 150, 60K and plays on current gen. And looking at this team, again, we got some really good pieces and like some guys that I don't really love. Elgin Baylor is not one of my favorite cards at this point. I think he's a little bit outdated. Same thing with Obi and Manu. These two guys are just not going to give you enough defense. So, and then my, George Mike and I also just never liked the card, even when he was, even when he was new. Um, so for me personally, I would look to, again, Wes Unsell, Josh Smith. Those are the two best point cards in the game on current gen. In my opinion, I think that's the direction that you go. And then you sell Obi and you take Manu out of your lineup. Then at the backup two, I think, oh, nah, I, I'm, I'm kind of talking down on Elgin, but I don't think he's bad. I think he can play at that backup two um, temporarily. Anyway, I think Mike is definitely your bigger hole. And if you sell Obi, you buy 
Wes and Josh, you're still looking at around 100 KMT. And with Mike and coming off, coming out of your lineup potentially, um, the way that I would probably honestly do that is I would move Bull Bull to the five, Anthony Davis to the backup five, and pick up Pascal Siakam to play your starting four. That's probably the right direction that I would go in. So Wes Unsell, Josh Smith, Pascal Siakam, Bull Bull to the five, Anthony Davis to the backup five, take Mike and out of that lineup. And yeah, I think that's looking like a very, very good squad at that point. Next team today comes in from Carson. He's got 100K MT. He's got Penny, but he's getting Luka uh, 100, about 50K away. He uses Duke Batum occasionally as well, although when you have Josh Smith in and Luca, I wouldn't worry about using Batum, so honestly, I'd probably sell him at that point. Bobo's badged out with 42 Hoffs, very nice, and open to suggestions. Okay, so first thing I would do is, honestly, I'd just sell these last three cards. I know they're not worth a lot of MT at this point, but I would definitely just maximize the amount of MT that you can get from getting them, because they're not they're not playing in your lineup. Um, and because you're on current gen, Bobo's just not worth it to me. I, I just don't like him, honestly. As much as I would like to like Bobo, I just don't. Or Minute, I'm sorry, not Bobo. Minute on current gen. I know he's a cheese ball, but he doesn't move as well as he should, uh, or as well as you'd like. Um, and his defense is not, is, is like definitely lackluster in that backcourt. Um, and also, he's just, I don't know. He, I think you got. I think you could sell him for 50k. He's not worth that 50k. And then you plug Jimmy Butler right in there. We're going to put Luca in here for Penny, so Luca's at your point guard position. And then... Um, after selling Manute, you're looking at closer to what 150k MT that you have. You can sell Penny as well. You're like 175k. That's just an estimate. Um, and then at that point, uh, I think your two weakest players would be Wilt Chamberlain, Horace Grant. I really like badged out Bull Bull still. So I'd just move Bull Bull in the starting lineup with Bill Russell. And then I would look to pick up a Pascal Siakam again for that backup four, and Anthony Davis probably for that backup five. Those. Dudes would probably be really, really nice upgrades for your squad specifically um, for the amount of MT that you'll have at that point. Coming into the next team today, we got G, G Torres. He's got 3.4 million T on current gen. So I'm guessing this is the type of guy who basically just uses reward cards for the most part and saves his MT until late in the year, But <clears throat> which I totally respect. I think that's cool. I think we're at that point in late in the year where you can start spending some of your MT. I'm not going to spend all of your MT, but I am going to spend a decent amount of it. And the reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to say immediately. <clears throat> I'm hoping you're going for Luca. I would go for Luca to play your backup point guard position, then I buy Ben Simmons to start that point guard position. Jimmy Butler's fine, TJ Warren is fine, Chris Depps is fine. Everybody else, for the most part, I'm gonna replace. So Ben Simmons and Luca at point guard, Jimmy Butler, and go buy yourself a Paul George. Start Paul George at point guard or at shooting guard, Jimmy Butler off the bench. TJ Warren can play the backup three, but go get yourself an Anton Jameson to start at the three. Um, at the four. You don't have Bill Russell, but you should. I would definitely go get Bill Russell. And then um bull bull a, a badge bull bull off the bench at the four and then dikembe mutombo at the five so the cards that i would actually buy are ben simmons paul george anton jameson bull bull and dikembe mutombo and then grind for bill russell um jimmy can play your backup three or two J tj one your backup three and then grind for luca so luca and bill russell are the two cards that i would look to definitely make sure you add to your lineup that are free as well and honestly luca and bill russell if you don't have them on your team i would recommend that for any team pretty much next team today comes in from corrupt he is a big fan of switching youtube this is no spent team plays on current gen has a 1.1 mil i like that wants to upgrade warren away since they sell him a lot willing to make any other suggestions so Bennett, Luca, I love it. Josh Smith, Vince Carter, don't mind it at all. I think this is a good backcourt at all on both your starters and your bench. Um, Isaac and Warren, your threes are a little bit weak. Russell and Worthy, I love Russell. Worthy, not so much. Cat and Bobo. Cat and Bobo is totally fine at that center duo. And Cat is another one of those centers for some of these guys who are looking for centers and have around 100 KMT that I would potentially recommend to some of those dudes as well um, who didn't really pop into my mind. But with 1.1 mil, I would sell Isaac. Warren and Worthy, he wants to upgrade. So I would definitely look to upgrade this this spot on the team, basically. And the way that I would do that is I would buy Anton Jameson and Pascal Siakam to play your threes. Then move Bull Bull to the four, buy yourself a Chris Stapps, and move Carl Anthony Towns to your backup five. So you're buying Pascal Siakam, and, or Anton Jameson, Pascal Siakam, and Chris Stapps Porzingis, moving Cat to the backup five, and Bull Bull to the backup four. That takes out these three guys and moves your lineup into a much more, I think, basically comp-ready squad at that point. And it's really that simple, I think. Those upgrades will make your team elite. Next team today comes in from my boy Holy. He's on current. And uh, I'm in a group chat with Holy, and I know he I know he loves to bomb threes. That's like his play style, which is why he has Wade. He loves to three hunt. And while I understand that you love to three hunt, with 8,000 MT, you have... I don't know how much MT Wade is going for right now, but 300K, something like that. 
invested in a point guard who's six foot four. And as much as I like Wade, and earlier this year he was amazing, honestly, still very, very good card. I think he's the best small point guard in the game. I don't think he's worth the MT that he's going for. I just checked on the auction house. He's going for like 350,000 MT. And I know you love Wade, but we, we just, I don't know. When you have 8K MT, you could sell him. You have 350K MT all of a sudden. And then you could buy like Josh Smith. And then your team has big, is bigger and you have so much more MT to work with. And then you could replace this Wiseman card, for example, if you wanted to. Uh, you could go get yourself an Anton Jameson and move Siakam to the four. Anton Jameson's fun to 300 with too. He's got X on base. So something like that. I just think that you'd be better off replacing Wade. Um, in my opinion, and then picking up a guy like maybe Jameson for Siakam. Siakam goes to the four. You sell Wiseman. Uh, and you still have a lot of MT even after doing that to potentially upgrade in the future. Um, and also, I know you're level 27. Go get yourself a Luka. I know you love to three hunt. He's fun. He's fun to use, and he's free, and he's six foot seven. So that's kind of the way that I would go with this squad. The second to last team today comes in from Trent, Amazing Trey. He's got 500k to work with. Kobe's untouchable 80s there to save him TF put a few extra badges on him I actually played him he's like he said I played him in TTL last night this dude's a good player he knows what he's doing um and looking at this team he says Kobe's untouchable and I don't mind dick at all so I think your twos are fine your ones are perfect these are the two best point guards in the game um Danny Ferry and Jameson again basically perfect two of the best three may probably the two best small forwards in the game right now in my opinion I would say um Bill and Dikembe again totally cool um and then AD and Bobo. Again, I don't really have an issue with that. I'd probably play Bobo at the four and AD at the five because the Bobo's a better perimeter defender as long as it just has clamps than um, AD is. But that's really up to you again. But with 500K, I like AD. I don't like him uh, that much when you have 500K. So let's move Bobo to your backup four. Get yourself a Chris Stapps. And I would play Chris Stapps with Bill Russell because I like the duo there and then bring Dikembe off the bench. But you could also bring Chris Stapps off the bench and start Dikembe. But with the MT, I would just splurge on that elite center. And then you have the best center duo in the game with Dikembe and Chris Stapps and Bobo to four. And that's really the only change that I would probably make to this team. This is a really, really good squad. Super high level comp team. And then the final team today comes in from Adrian. He's got 242 KMT, plays on PS4, and this is the team. And I've done, reviewed AJ, Adrian's team before, but it hasn't. It's been a while. Um, but my thing, it just it frustrates me to know it. And I, I, I don't have any issue with him. Obviously, of course not. I like Adrian. He's a super chill dude. But this bench, what are we doing? I, I, can't, I can't see who you're playing where. I look at this bench, and I don't know what's going on. Your starting lineup is elite. Like, this is a great starting lineup. Um, and then... The bench is just, it's, it's hard to follow. Like, you're, I guess, Jamal Crawford at the one, and one of the Van Arsdales at the two, and TJ at the three, and Jerry at the four, and Mike at the five. Like, just run yourself a 10-man and put three dudes at the end of the bench who are bronzes so I can, it makes it easier to see who your team is, and you can make your substitutions easily off the bench, and, like, it's just too complicated for me. So... I'm going to go with the assumption that you're running Jamal, Tom Van Arsdale, TJ Warren, Jerry Lucas, and Mike, because that's probably how I would run your bench based on the fact that Jamal is the only point guard on the bench, and these are your only two bigs. So looking at that, I think the Van Arsdale's good. The Warren's good. I think Jamal needs to go with like a quickness. He needs to be out of the lineup pretty much immediately. Um, and the way that I would do that is I would look to probably get Wes Unseld to play that backup point guard position. Um, and then you have Wes, Tom, and TJ, which is totally fine in your backcourt. And then you need two frontcourt guys because Jerry Lucas and George Mike and I are just not going to cut it, in my opinion. And the way that you're going to upgrade that frontcourt, in my opinion, again, is Bull Bull and Anthony Davis. I know those are kind of the basic upgrades. Those are the upgrades that most people tend to be using. But uh, I really think those that's the way to go in terms of the budget bigs um, in this game. And at that point, you would still have a decent amount of MT left. And you would have a squad with this same starting lineup. But then Wes Unseld... Tom Van Arsdale, TJ Warren, Bull Bull, and Anthony Davis as your five bench players. And then you can have three guys off the bench who are bronzes, and it makes your bench much easier to look at, much easier to sub in the game, and all like that. And that's just the way that I probably would do it um, because this bench is just hard to follow. You don't know where players are playing, and it would be complicated for me to try to sub dudes in as well. Like, I just, I don't know. It would stress me out. But hey, if you like to do it like this, that is totally fine. It's just not how I would do it personally. But that being said, that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy, please make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment as well. Let me know what you thought of the video. Um, if I didn't get to your team this week, make sure you drop your team next week again i try to get to different names each week if possible um obviously my memory doesn't serve me that great i will probably put somebody in the video who was in it last week the next week as well accidentally but i do my best to get to different teams each week and i do hope that i am as eventually able to get to everybody's teams um in at least one or two episodes um but yeah that is going to do it for this video again if you did also if you didn't also make sure you hit that subscribe button we'll be back with more 2k content very very soon i appreciate y'all
Peace.